Yes, yes, yeah. I can hear you. What was oh, thank you very much because some uh, technical problem, I, I had it. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, Clemens. Uh, Clemens, we present you, okay. please. We okay. present you okay. before. Uh, is it possible, but maybe I, I start, start to share the screen? Uh, if you want, uh, it is okay. Uh, maybe... Just Maybe it's better if you uh, uh, start this, okay? Okay, uh, just a minute. Let me first introduce you. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Professor Thomas uh, Samazi. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, uh, he has an MD and PhD. He is Professor of Pediatrics and President of Pediatric Section of Hungarian Atherosclerosis Society. Uh, in, uh, from uh, Smelvis uh, University in Hungary. Okay. Uh, Dr. Uh, Thomas, uh, do, um, do you like to share your own screen? Okay, can I start it? Yes, yes, please share your screen. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, first of all. Uh, your very kind invitation and uh, a lot of help which I had for this presentation. This is a very short presentation uh, because of the next thing. Familiar hypercholesterolemia is a chronic inherited disease, starts uh, in, in childhood. Heterozygote patients with uh, serum LDL cholesterol uh, more than five millimole per liter has treated our department by simvastatin or other statin since uh, their eight uh, years of age. Uh, this Thomas, Thomas, we we have no no slides. Yes, but just a moment, I I see it. Okay, it's okay. Uh, yes, would you so kind the first, uh, uh, first uh, the first slides, please? Please go back for the first slides. Okay. Oh, okay. This uh, yes. So I, I I should like to tell you then uh, the it is a very complicated problem the follow up study of these patients after eighteen years old ages. So this is the cause why I speak only about nine a person. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the purpose of this was that an investigation of the effect of starting treatment cessation on serum cholesterol level of young women uh, during pregnancy and sucking peri period, because that is impossible to give any statin if uh, a lady is pregnant and uh, because the statin goes to the milk, this is the cause why it is impossible also after the delivery. So uh, uh, this is the cause why we have to cessate, uh, to make a cessation of the, uh, of the statin uh, therapy. Next slide, please. Nine women, uh, the, you see the age from 18 to uh, 26 years, this familial hypercholesterolemia treated in childhood and adolescent ages by simvastatin or atorvastatin. A temporary cessation of this treatment has started before pregnancy and has started again after the sucking period neither before pregnancy nor after the temporary cessation of starting therapy were found artery carotis plaques by ultrasound. Next slide, please. The serum total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, triglyceride levels were measured and serum LDL cholesterol level was calculated by Friedewald method. Uh, sorry, uh, by Friedewald method because the serum triglyceride levels were lower than four millimole per liter. Five times it was measured 
before the statin treatment in childhood, the cessation of statin treatment after the, during the pre pregnancy, during the sucking period, and three months after the new start of statin treatment. Next slide, please. You can see the, uh, our results. Before starting treatment, the mean of the serum LDL cholesterol level was very high, 7.8 for the children. Before cessation of treatment, they, they were uh, uh, adult, uh, cessation of treatment, it was only 3.2 because of the starting treatment. The LDL cholesterol, the cholesterol after the cessation during the pregnancy was very high, 14.8 millimole per liter, and during the suction period, very similar, 13.6 uh, millimole per liter. After three months, the restart, the start of the repeated statin treatment, also it was only 3.4. Uh, next slide, please. The, the conclusion of this, uh, but only this is nine people, the significant increase of serum LDL cholesterol level of pregnant young women with familiar hypercholesterolemia because of temporary cessation of statin therapy may show favorable changes caused by the repeated treatment. Thank you very much for, uh, uh, for the audience. Thank you. So. Thank, thank you very much, Thomas, for this uh, concise uh, talk. Uh, I hope that uh, in Hungary there is no problem. Uh, you know, uh, this is a very important question because uh, if this cessation caused a very uh, high LDL cholesterol uh, in the later ages, this is a, a very big danger for these uh, women. But I was very happy because uh, uh, after the sucking period, three months after, was all the same good uh, uh, by, because of the static statement. The LDL cholesterol went before the pregnancy. But we have to be very cautious. Uh, cautious so very important that uh, if there is a pregnancy which was in a plan, in this case, we have to uh, uh, make this cessation uh, before the pregnancy, so not after the first or, se or second months. Thank okay. you very much for your attendance. Okay, we have to to begin the discussion, general discussion. The the first uh, on the uh, the the talk of. Uh, uh, Anne, uh, Professor Anne Lend, John Lend from Cameroon. Have you some questions about macrosomia? Uh, I think about uh, maybe obstetrician, maybe Marianne Quaco. Have you some question? No? So, your talk was uh, very complete and uh, very precise. Uh, the, is there some question? No? I congratulate uh, Anne to, to this uh, very, very beautiful study on Africa, and uh, uh, I, uh, I am very grateful to, to her to prepare a publication, if, the, if this is possible, uh, because there is no 
uh, extensive data in Africa and uh, uh, what, what, is, what was the conclusion of your, of your Congress on macrosomia in Cameroon? Um, thank you for the question. In fact, we had the Congress, as you know, uh, I am the president of uh, Cameroon Society of Perinatal Medicine. Uh, we had a Congress uh, which uh, gathered all the um, all the neonatologists and obstetricians of the country, including those of Senegal, someone of Senegal, we came to the conclusion that we need to have local data. Uh, on the field, we have uh, we see we show an increasing rate of um, of uh, macrosomia obesity during pregnancy, and the problem, the main um, challenge, is about the screening of all pregnant women. Uh, currently, we don't have. Uh, universal coverage, medical universal coverage. So we propose that the screening should be uh, maintained uh, only for, first of all, for all pregnant women, not only those at risk, uh, by um, a fasting uh, glycemia. And for those who has a problem, we are going to do uh, uh, provoke uh, hyperglycemia, uh, uh, oral provoke hyperglycemia. But, First of all, is to screen all the pregnant women by fasting glycemia at the first uh, uh, contact in pregnancy. Because um, uh, in most cases, most of the um, baby who has macrosomic uh, uh, are coming from women who are uh, gestational diabet and known and known gestational diabetes. So we must improve screening for all pregnant women first, and then we are going to move toward target screening as other countries have started. Thank you. Thank you very much. And for the communication of uh, Dr. Thierry Leblanc about allo-immunization and auto-immunization, which was a very detailed uh, talk and very 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 precise talk. Uh, have you some question for for uh, Dr. Thierry Leblanc? I think that is a problem in neonates. Maybe neonati neonatologists have uh, some cases of uh, uh, allo immunization and iso immunization. Uh, uh, Autoimmunization. Some neonatologists in the in the in the room in the congress have some qu question. No. Ma just, uh, uh, please, I, I just have uh, a question. Just. Uh, yes. Understanding. And. Yes. It's true that the presentation was, was uh, immune, immune treatment and uh, steroid and so on, immunoglobulin, platelet and so on, immune. But I, because we don't have it's such kind of uh, a level of care here in Cameroon. But I just want to have an idea as uh, comparing to uh, uh, immuniz uh, immunization of, uh, of blood cell, what we usually call, uh, because from now in our country, we. Even in our country, we no longer have uh, resist immunization because of prevention, but we have uh, incompatibility, ABO. I just want to know if uh, uh, exsanguinal transfusion could be eligible for alloimmunization in platelets. It's a, just a question from uh, my own concern. You speak in the mother or in the child? Uh, uh, alloimmunization of, of, of a baby, in fact, if it's in case. Uh, I don't see any uh, publication on this. I think it will be di difficult by exsanguinal transfusion to, to take all the allo antibodies. Maybe plasmapheresis, maybe, but at this age is very, very complicated. So I, I don't think there is a place for exsanguinal transfusion. The best is to give platelets and if possible to give platelets from the mother if it's uh, it should be possible. 
if you can uh, get some brackets. Uh, I have a, a question uh, to um, uh, Dr. Leblanc. Um, what is the reliability of the uh, test um, in uh, HPA1 uh, uh, um, thrombocytopenia? Because we, we have often a, a clinical uh, situation where it looks like really uh, uh, immunization. And very often, it's not uh, it's not possible to prove anything. Is there some um, some kind of uh, uh, trouble in the test? Um, uh, uh, I, I agree, but the tests are difficult and not very uh, sensitive. So that's why the recommendation is is to use at least two different tests uh, to to look for allo antibodies and. Uh, the cross match with uh, platelets from the fever is also very useful, but in in some cases you you are able only to demonstrate a situation of incompatibility between the mother and the child with no uh, do not find uh, allo antibodies. In every case, if you suspect this disease, the best is to treat as soon as possible, and then you will see if you are able or not to prove. Uh, the pathology of a thrombocytopenia. Yes, uh, uh, I understand. It's quite easy to uh, obtain uh, um, the HPA negative platelets, so we, we can do the, the treatment quite easily. But um, after, sometime we did also a, a test three, six months later, and it's uh, very often um, uh, negative. If even we we think we are uh, we think it's uh, it's um, it's a low immunization, but uh, it's, it's... no, no, I agree. I don't know if you remember in the survey I, I show you there is a, in France about fifty cases. There is one case of severe uh, intracranial hemorrhage, and they were not able to prove the presence of allo antibodies. There is a, the genotype of. Uh, Child and the mother show there is evidence of incompatibility, but yes, yes, of yes, it, 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 it occurs. Uh, the yeah. sensibility is not 100% for the moment. And do you type yourself the, the blood samples or uh, do, do you send them to uh, Créteil or? Uh... Now it's done uh, now in Paris, it was done uh, at the it's now done in Saint Antoine, mostly because you know there is someone very involved in this disease who is Raquel Peterman, and first she was at the Centre de Biologie uh, no, au Centre de Référence, uh, yes, Centre, um, uh, Institut Cabanel, and now she oui, Cabanel, yes, uh, yes, and now she's in Hospital Saint Antoine. So okay, this, okay. this is a, a great collaborator. Okay, so that's information I write. Thank you. Uh, 